Now, our second story is also from Ibadan, where the state government has just instituted a new environmental policy. You remember the flood disaster, and people are saying Ibadan is too dirty. And this contributed to the disaster we had about two weeks ago. And now the state governor has instituted a new environmental sanitation policy. Every second Thursday of the month now is an environmental sanitation day in Oyo State between the hours of 8 a.m. and 12 noon. The governor himself led the delegation last Thursday on inspection of how people are complying with the new sanitation policy. It was a worthwhile venture as the governor went around the city and came face to face with the debt and with the filth that has been troubling Ibadan, the Oyo State capital. Now, Sharp Lens was on ground there and we saw it all. Just watch the report. The flood in Ibadan, the Oyo State capital, has prompted the need to work on the sanitation situation in Ibadan. The flood, which claimed over 100 lives, has been attributed duly to the nonchalant attitude of residents to environmental issues. This called for an emergency cleanup of the city, which was led by the state governor, Senator Abiola Ajimobi. The State Executive Council, after extensive deliberation last week, went round in different locations to monitor the compliance of residents to the monthly environmental policy just initiated. Governor Abiola Ajumobi, who led a team of government functionaries to some parts of the city, advised the people to be more careful in the manner they dispose their wastes. We will do this every week, just like they do in Lagos. Lagos, every Friday, Thursday, they clean the, the markets and everywhere. And you could see that 75 80 percent of the people complied. You could see the access that we went through, virtually the major roads in, in the state capital. They are cleaning them. And we too will live up to expectations by providing vehicles that will remove all the refuse that has been uh, parked. So we will do that. Two is that I'm appealing to our people to please ensure that without any prompting, they too will be prepared to clean the, the environment. It's good for them so that there will be no cholera outbreak. Not only that, it is the collective habits of our people that created the problem we have. Because the flood we had, if you notice, is the highest in 50 years. At Bodija Food Market, the secretary to the state government who led another team of inspectors expressed disappointment with the attitude of market women in the markets. Uh, it's as if uh, the market people are not ready for us. Uh, you will see that no work is going on before we came here. So, but we, what I'm trying to do is to look at the drainage system to see whether it has not been blocked uh, by refuse. And a lot of them, you could see when I was checking the drainage that a lot of them have been blocked. Uh, we know we we'll, we'll have to learn from today's experience to plan for a more effective uh, sanitation day. This sanitation we have picked for Thursday, we have to go, we have to continue for the next six months. Thursday, and then the monthly environmental on the last day of the month, last Saturday of the month, we still continue. But will the people of Ibada comply with the monthly four-hour sanitation every second Thursday of the month? The Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Bosun Oladele, explained to Sharplens the strategy to be adopted by government to ensure that the sanitation exercise is observed by the people. But don't forget that uh, there is we have existing uh, environmental sanitation uh, program, which is a monthly one, which has not been strictly adhered to in the past and that's the reason we have this deluge of uh, uh, garbage and uh, blockage of uh, waterways and channels and the resultant effect was what we witnessed on 26th so we want to take every step to uh, really 
uh, forestall that in future. A move around the Oyo state capital showed that field is taking over the city gradually and this is the battle before Ajimobi and his team. Some residents also advised government on ways to ensure a clean society. There used to be what we used to know as the PWD. You understand? The PWD are detailed everywhere to, to work all over Nigeria. When you detail one person, pay him a salary. Let him manage all the environment there. If you place somebody, all our roads will be okay. All our gutters will be well kept. All environments will be clean. I will say it is because Ibada is big. And it is because there are no areas designated for refuse dumping as compared to what we have in other cities. Like in Lagos State, there are a lot of places in Lagos that government will reserve for the refuse dumping. But actually there are no refuse dumping centers in Ibadan as compared to the number of the population in Ibadan. Governor Abiola Ajimobi promised to make Ibadan and Oyo State one of the neatest states in Nigeria and called on the people for understanding and cooperation. We are going to put in place by next week we will have a, a law passed on sanitation whereby all those who violate those laws will be accordingly dealt with. Because our problem in this part of the world, and in fact in Nigeria in general, is the ability to enforce. And we are going to enforce the sanitation law. We will make sure this is bad on. And Oyo State as a whole is a clean city. We, do, we are seen as one of the dirtiest. And you could see going around what has happened. So we are not going to allow it. We will make sure we clear the area. The governor said the sanitation exercise will later transform into a weekly exercise to keep the state clean. We do hope the people of Ibadan will keep on with this sanitation exercise at least to keep Ibadan clean and the entire or your state. Now to Lagos. During the week there was an accident on the third mainland bridge. It was a lone accident involving a commercial bus and two people died on the spot. How did it happen? Sharpless was there. I will have the report for you. But let us tell you that the visuals you are about to see in this report may be very, very disturbing. So, viewer's discretion is very, very necessary here. The severe auto crash led to heavy traffic on the popular bridge. Television Continental gathered that two people, a man and a woman, died on the spot while many others suffered various degrees of injuries. The white Toyota Hayas Interstate bus with registration number XT848BDG was on top speed when one of its rear tires busted. The vehicle immediately somersaulted twice and crashed beside the railings of the highway. The two people died instantly from head injuries. A delegation of the Federal Road Safety Commission refused to comment on the crash, while the police at the scene of events also declined comment on the unfaithful incident. If there is an accident like this, this is like a kind of, a, you will always be uh, informed for, of a rescue. So we just came to the scene, you know, we can only suspect the probable cause of the accident, you understand? But which is, you know, it's not something that we are not investigating it for now. So, it's not, I'm, so not, I'm not really guaranteed. A family member of one of the victims from the accident only said he got a call at about 1 p.m. through his elder brother and had to rush down to the scene. I was go for inside that car, but the accident is happening. Now he called us, I do hope. So my brother said, we need no call for what I got a journal hospital. So now he called us, he called me, he said, no go here. He no go for what I got a journal hospital. The two bodies were later removed by the men of the Federal Road Safety Commission with the assistance of the Lagos State Ambulance Services.
This is much time we permit us on Sharp Lens today. I do believe you've enjoyed the program very, very well. Now, why not join me next week, same time, on the same station for another interesting package of Sharp Lens. Now, there are some numbers on your screen. Is there anything happening around your area? Just pick your phone, give us a call, or send us an SMS. We will surely be there to see what is going on. And let us tell you that this program is open for sponsorship from corporate bodies and organizations. Just walk to our office, number 19, Aladilala Street, Ecosique to Lagos, and do business with us. And you can now watch Sharp Lens on the internet. Just log on to www.youtube.com slash user slash Sharp Lens TV, and you'll find our videos on the net. Until I come your way again next week, please stay out of trouble because Sharp Lens is watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.